Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video and in this video we're going to be talking all about results. What type of results should your clients expect from you? What type of results should you promise your clients? What type of results should you actually get your clients uh, to make sure that they stay with you? This is a topic that I see a lot of agency owners, a lot of SMA owners go wrong simply because they either don't set expectations at all and then they get the ball rolling, the clients don't know what to expect. Uh, they also haven't promised anything so they don't uh, know what they should hold themselves accountable to or they set the wrong expectations and they set up the whole partnership uh, right to a bad start by just setting the wrong expectations when it comes to results. So really hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get right into it. One of the things that I strongly, strongly recommend you guys do is actually under promise and over deliver. Most agency owners actually over promise and under deliver. They will just set unrealistic expectations before signing the client because they think that that's actually a good idea, right? The client might sign on simply because you're setting these unrealistic expectations. You're almost selling them this dream. And then when they actually get onboarded and you start producing results, obviously those results were unrealistic and you can't get them those results, right? And so what I strongly recommend you guys do is start under promising and actually over delivering. Stop telling clients that you're gonna make them 4X, 6X or 10X return investment in the first month, even if that's what they wanna hear. What I can tell you guys is I had a tendency to do that when I started my agency journey. I would almost promise them the world, but what I, what I found is number one, they actually love the transparency and honesty when you tell them, hey, you know, most agency owners will actually promise you uh, that they can do 2x, 4x, 6x return. What I can actually tell you from our years of experience in this field, just working with a plethora of ambitious clients in this exact niche, is that that is completely unrealistic. The path to profitability that we kind of see is month one, we get this, month two, we get this, month three, we get this, and um, you just make it very realistic. You're not selling them this dream, and they actually appreciate that so, so much. Like, I can't begin to tell you guys how that has changed my, my close rate so much because at the end of the day, transparency and honesty wins. I, I don't wanna, because a lot of people will like try to sell you smoke, right? And, and they yeah, yeah. Like, tons of realistic. Really, like, really yeah, I'm telling, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm telling you right now is like, with investment, hmm. it would be very hard to, uh, e even by month three, right? It'd be quite hard with a uh, investment uh, per month to get to, because that is, well, that's like a six return um, investment, right? This is a six X roughly. Um, and so that is like, it's, it's doable, right? But I want you to, you know, I, I just want to be realistic. And like mm -hmm. we've done it in the past, we've seen it in the past, but if you don't, if we don't consistently increase the ad spend per month, like it, by month three, you know, by, by month 12, those kind of returns, you can definitely expect, but that is at a larger scale. Like if you're spending, you know, a month, or you, if you're spending like 10, ironically, it's easier to get to like a uh, revenue return, right? Uh, because it's just the algorithm is much, much better optimized. Uh, the algorithm can play to your, your favor. It favors, you know, bigger standards. And so I, I'm just... From our understanding of the algorithm, getting to a monthly revenue purely from paid ads um, with a, a, a investment is very difficult. Can it be done if we, you know, if we have like a very strong, you know, and solid backend of emails um, and all that infrastructure? Yes, but from just the paid ads, that's like you know a, a difficult feat. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it does. Mm. Unless it's like Black Friday, I mean, we've seen it, right? If it's like Black Friday, you're like, you put out this like really good discount or something like that. Um, but you know, we like to think brand, we like to think longevity, we like to think building a an empire, uh, and like discounting that aggressively doesn't. It's it's usually it does more harm than good. Mm. So I guess really there's not not really a real opportunity right now then. Yeah. I mean, what you can do is, why don't you, you know, if you want, why don't you run uh, past me a very quick um, kind of like a breakdown, uh, you know, month one, this is what we had in mind, uh, month two, you know, this is what we have, what, what we have in mind. You can do that for like three months. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I could take a look at it with my team and I can get back to you if you want. Yeah, fine. What's the best email address for you? So that's, the, that's the, the first reason why it's incredibly powerful. And the second reason has to do with the fact that, quite simply, when you don't overpromise and when they don't go into the partnership, just, 
you know, being sold this dream and expecting just expecting the world, and you actually tell them what they can expect and you actually get the better results, they're obviously going to be just delighted with you. When you promise them the world and then you under deliver, that is going to piss them off. That is going to make people angry, right? But when you give them realistic expectations and you just have a killer team that can provide an incredible result and you actually get them better results and you over deliver, that is the formula for very happy clients. Now, so just to wrap up the video, I want to cover one of the things I said in that card, in that uh, previous card, and that was under promise and over deliver. And uh, I just don't want you guys to misunderstand this section. Look, I'm not saying sell yourself short. I'm not saying undercut your uh, you know, delivery. I'm not saying you know undercut what you can do for them. I'm not saying you should tell them that you can get them a 12 return on investment if your track record indicates that you can get them a 2x return on investment and that you've done it in the past uh, in your niche and that that is a typical result that you can get them because you just have you know an incredible team and you have the experience uh, to get them that, that type of result uh, and you can definitely and, and feel very confident that you can get them that result. I'm not saying you should cut yourself short, uh, I'm just saying that be realistic, right? Don't don't tend to overpromise. Don't tend to uh, make unrealistic expectations because unfortunately, that is where most people go. They tend to go to the unrealistic. They tend to sell the dream, and then that comes back to to bite them in the ass, right? What you want to make sure is that you're setting realistic expectations uh, so that your client knows what they can expect, and oftentimes will be pleasantly surprised by you getting better results than you actually you, you know even promised, right? Um, that is what I, what I want you guys to take away from this video because what I can tell you is. Over promising is one of the worst things that you that you can do as an agency owner. It will lead to really unhappy clients and also it will make you very unhappy yourself. So that is the final thing that I wanted to cover. Just to recap, if you have a track record that indicates you can get them a 2x return investment because you know you're just miles ahead of your competition, even 4x return investment, whatever it is, don't undersell yourself. Just make sure that you're being realistic. Just make sure that you don't sell them the dream. Just make sure that you don't sell them smoke. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, drop a like. It really helps a lot with the algorithm uh, and I would really appreciate it. Also, leave down below any questions, any comments you may have on the video and I'll be checking those out. Lastly, guys, if you want to check out more SMA-related content and you really want to make sure that you're consuming very valuable information that can help you start and scale your agency, really sign and keep more clients, go ahead and check out my free Facebook group community, The Client Closures. The link is in the bio. Uh, honestly, it's an incredible community full of like-minded people trying to scale their agency and level up in life. If you want to check it out and join, go ahead and check out the link in the bio. And as always, guys, hope everything's going well in your agency journey. And I'll speak to you in the next one. Peace.